write the solution to this problem. The first thing you must have is the word program followed by your program name. I'm going to name my program marks. Semicolon, documentation, And let's show the declaration for the variables that we're going to use in this program. So we have var and we are only accepting one variable. I am going to have m as the variable for the mark being entered. So variable name, colon, and data type. I'm using real just to be safe. All right. Next part is the body part of our program. We must use the word begin to signify the starting point of the body and then we indent away from begin so we know the statements that are enclosed within the body part of our program. So first thing now we need to ask the user to enter the mark received. Right. Now, after we have outputted this to the screen, we are going to store whichever value the user entered in the variable m. So we have read line, open bracket, read line, open bracket, and we have our variable. Good. So now, we are going to take into consideration the if component. Now, first thing you must have is the word if. Open bracket. We must put the variable that we want to check. Now, it did say if the mark is greater than 60. So, here now, we are going to check the variable called m to see if the value assigned to it is greater than 60. So if, it, the, if this condition is true, then what we want the system to do is to output, and we use right line, output past. And that's it. So here, let's close our body. And as you know, we use end and full stop. Let's compile. Now you can't put a semicolon here. Um, let's compile. Run. Good. So let's enter a grade. A mark, sorry. That's greater than 60. So let's use 70. Passed. Good. Let's run this program again. Now if you're supposed to enter now 60, nothing will show. And that's how we solve that problem. <laughs>
now once it is that you have if then else statement for each statement or block of statements within the if we must enclose it in begin and end and this is just for the if statement or loops we'll touch on that later on so here in algorithms you would have if then else um, end if in Pascal you use begin and the last end that you have must have a semicolon so let's compile compile successfully and run our program so if we were supposed to enter a grade greater than 60 75 past let's run this again Let's enter a grade less than failed. And that is what the program wants us to do. So we're building on the same program here. So all we need to do is to output a letter grade based on the mark received by the student, what we call a nested if. So here if statement just the same if open bracket the variable that we need to check to meet the condition so the first for you to get a your grade must be greater than or equal to a so we put M which is mark what the user would have entered here so we're checking to see if the values assigned or the value assigned is greater than or equal to 85 close bracket then we have begin and we enclose so we're going to output here right line open bracket open and close quotation and what is it we want to output so here I'm going to have a letter grade is A. So I'm going to enclose that with begin and end. Good. So what's the next part? So what if the person did not get um, greater than 85? Or let's take into consideration now the persons who would um, get B for this test all right so what we have now we have if then we take into consideration else else if open brackets now again condition so our condition now we need to check m to see if this grade is greater than or equal to 75 right but what if the grade is greater than 75 but less than 85 so you take into consideration and so we have a boolean expression here so and mark is less than 85 good because if you don't have this aspect to it then this now will still have the persons getting a because this is greater than 75 greater than um, 85 there's no other condition which is going to put a range so this is the range here now the common mistake some persons get make is they will put this and less than 85 this would be incorrect once it is that you have the and which is the boolean we're going to separate so we have two different conditions here so we must enclose that so we have mark is less than 85 else greater than sorry mark is less than 85 then 
let's copy this and let's paste this here good so this now will change to B again once it is that we have a statement within our nested if we must enclose it within begin and end good so here now what else so you take into consideration else if and we open brackets again same thing we're doing as what we're doing here it's just that each time we're going to change these values so if mark is greater than or equal now to 65 close bracket and next condition and mark is less than 75 then begin right, and we write our output statement so this now would give you a C. And have a next condition. So each time you see me indenting away from the if, the last if. So here you'll have else if. And you can put the if statement beside the else, like it will work just the same. If, again, mark is greater than, equal to, and if you get confused with which sign is greater than or less than, your right hand, when you bend it, will make it the greater than sign, and your left hand, when bended, will give you the less than sign. Hopefully that will help somebody. All right, so we have C. So we have A, B, C. So, all right, so else, next condition, if, same thing as we did before, we're giving a range. So if M is greater than or equal to 55 and M is less than 65 then what should all be outputted here we should output to the screen D semicolon all right so here I left out begin So here now we have else if it is that the person did not get a grade greater than 85 greater than or equal to 85 then they must be between this range if they are not between this range then it possibly means that they are between this range if not they must be within this range but then again, maybe not. So, the last one here, we don't need to write the if statement for. You can, it's not incorrect. However, if you are not greater than 85, if you are not between the, the range of um, 85 and 74, then you m could be between the range of 65 and 74. 74 and 65. If you are not there, then you could be between 64 and 55. So here we just need to write the output because there's no other condition to be met. It's not like the person can enter a grade that's not between the ranges above and the system may confuse it. So because we're going with a set pattern for the last one here, you just need to output. Okay. You just need to output the letter. Because it 
if it has not met any of the conditions above then it must meet this one so begin and we said that the last one in our if statement must have end the last one in our statement must have end semicolon to show the end of our if statement to show the end of our body we must have end and full stop let's compile check for any errors or oh, had in already all right let's compile again all right run so let's enter a grade that's greater than or equal so let's enter 85 that's a so that worked let's enter a grade between 70 84 and 75 so let's enter um, 80. That's B. Good. Run. Let's enter now to get a C. That let's try 60. And that's B. Oh, we didn't do any for C. Let's try C. So let's try 72. Alright. Let's check what's happening here for C. Oh, I have greater than here. So this should have been best up. Alright, so let's compile. Let's try this again. Alright. So let's enter a grade to test A. So let's try 90. Alright, so that's good. Let's try for B now. So B would have been, let's try 77. Good. Let's try for C. Let's try 68. Good. Let's try for D. So let's enter 50. Oh, that's F, sorry. Let's try for D. And D would have been 57. Good. 